Welcome to a new daily top ask reddit video. Today's topic. What's a thing you strongly dislike about reddit? Everyone here with opinions about what's wrong with the concept of reddit, so I'll chime in with what's wrong with actual reddit. The search function is useless. Exactly. Sometimes I want to search for a post but all you can find are private subreddits. It's honestly easier and more effective to go to Google and type your search plus Reddit. It's weird that I have to search a website by going to a completely different website you'd think we'd have nailed search bar technology by now, but apparently not. I'm a lawyer. I see a lot of very authoritative, highly upvoted posts here that are very incorrect. I also see a lot of misinformation being parroted in the comments. In the past, I've tried to correct it, but people will argue with me and tell me I'm the idiot. Yep. Legal advice forward slash r forward slash is full of advice that is guaranteed to get you sued, arrested or laughed out of a courtroom. This is one of my favorites. The TL, doctor of it is, a guy was getting a divorce and asked Reddit what to do. Reddit advised him to consult with every family law attorney in town, that way the attorneys are conflicted out and the wife couldn't retain them. They followed that terrible advice and ended up getting sanctioned for abuse of process. Legal advice is the biggest pile of shit subreddit I've ever been to. I was building an application, and I went there once asking for basic advice about fair use forward slash copyright law only to find two to three arrogant pricks saying something was illegal. When I found precedent and law contrary to what they claimed, they called me ungrateful and said that I should have paid them $500 for this kind of legal advice despite them eventually admitting that they were not lawyers. When you get sued, don't come crawling back to me. Why the fuck would I come crawling back to some redditor without a law degree? The only good advice I've seen on legal advice is go talk to an actual lawyer. I'm a doctor and I've just stopped correcting others. I've been told I must be a terrible doctor or you're a pathetic liar you are pretending to be a doctor etc etc, for correcting an utterly and undeniably incorrect medical fact, but, because I got there after all of its upvotees and gold, I'm just some fucky idiot trying to shit on everyone as they marvel at fake facts. The problem is sometimes it can actually be dangerous. Which goes the same for your line of work, too. I got into an argument with some dumb fuck about how to give CPR. I even linked the guidelines. It's not like we're talking really intricate, medical science pretty bread and butter for a first aider. Naturally, as I arrived after this hero posts their bullshit, incorrect story, I was downvoted and the focus of pretty pathetic online bullying. Like, okay. Go give your relative in cardiac arrest inadequate CPR because Professor Buttfucker69 says so on Reddit. Jesus Christ. Anyway, when you actually look at a lot of the facts that folk proudly parade with authority but no source, often they are just baseless bullshit. I feel your pain. Fuck this site and fuck coronavirus for fist fucking my plans for the next six months. There was a quote I saw a while ago that was something along the lines of the more I see Reddit experts talk about a subject of which I'm actually knowledgeable the more I wonder why I take to heart what people say on the subjects of which I'm not. How they keep changing the ads to look more and more like real posts. Ah yes I'll be watching an ad for like 5 seconds before I check for the sub and hey it's not there. They're working just as intended then. When I come late to a post and I see, delete it, everywhere. Just fucking delete it completely then and stop making me curious about what top comment said. Copy the link and instead of Reddit in the link replace it with remove edit and it'll show the comment. This only works if the comment was up for at least an hour to be archived. I can't think of the right word, but it's especially seen in subs like r forward slash omit he asshole and r forward slash relationship underscore advice. The people on there just think in a way that's completely unrealistic and not at all like the real world. Like yeah, you can have your opinions and shit but almost everything I see is absurd because that's just not how people in real life think and act. They should make a sub called r forward slash I am theus hole where we share stories of what pricks we are. Edit, of course it already exists. That's what I've always said though. I know I'm an asshole, I don't need you assholes telling me. Plus we all know what subs like that are really for, validation and humble brag. I stopped supporting my brother because he spends all of the money on drugs and after he OD'd I put him in rehab. He's mad at me, am I the asshole? Those relationship subs are stupid too. People act like the posters haven't already made up their mind and are just looking for pats on the back. People act like the stories aren't horribly one-sided. 
Oh I told her she should dump that loser, I had a productive day. Fuck off with that, they're all wasting their time, you are not making the world a better place. Those subs are not advice salons, they are churches. Churches have dogma and liturgies, and expel heretics. On our forward slash relatio ship advice the standard liturgical response to any dilemma forward slash story is always, break up with him or her. On our forward slash pair Solfius the standard dogmatic advice is, never borrow, invest in index funds, buy used stuff and pay cash only. It takes no imagination or inventiveness to just read from the standard prayer book, but apparently a lot of advice givers love doing it, even though it's often actually harmful to the supplicant, and even though many seem manifestly unqualified for the priesthood people giving out relationship counsel who seem unfamiliar with relationships, people giving out financial wisdom when they sound like teenagers without money, etc. There is a bigger, more ominous cultural problem in play right now where we downgrade expertise and accumulated wisdom you see it all the time with people fighting over coronavirus data and it's on display here too. Reddit sort of mocks experience and Dow votes reasoned original answers while rewarding quotes from the approved prayer books in these churches. If you don't believe this, try asserting on our forward slash pair Solfius that debt can be a useful tool for controlling more assets at lower cost, or that it's okay to buy a new refrigerator with a Visa card when your old one dies and pay it off over three or four months, and see how quickly you are crucified as a heretic. Edit, thank you very much for the golds, kind strangers. Wash your hands. I have over a decade of professional banking and investment experience and studied finance and banking in college. When I first joined Reddit I thought it would be fun to help people there until I realized my experience, schooling and training was nothing compared to their having googled something one time. If you have expertise in an area it would be best served by not attempting to be active in that community. Also, forgot to mention, the top post of all time on AITA is a scathing rant about how idiotic the members are and how disconnected from the world it all is. It perfectly ripped into the subs members, but sadly had little impact on it. It did work for a few weeks after, I saw a lot more people calling out idiotic and unrealistic judgments. However people forgot quickly and we're back to square one. Doesn't help that the mods now allow validation posts so the sub is pretty much a creative writing forum now. Often objectively incorrect information gets upvoted, and even if it is corrected, the correction doesn't get a quarter of the attention. People speak with authority and if it sounds plausible, people buy into it. I've fallen into this trap, myself. Edit, I feel the need to clarify, I'm not talking about matters of opinion or preference, or questions that are not answered definitively, or examples of multiple right answers, or technicalities, or politics, or anything controversial in any capacity. I'm talking about things that either are, or aren't, and the facts are established without ambiguity or bias. One such mistake I routinely encounter, maybe not the best example but still, is people mixing up the definitions of right to work and at will employment as these phrases pertain to labor in the US. Not even a question of how you feel about these concepts, or how they vary by state, or how they fit into political platforms, or how they compare to other countries, but strictly the definitions of the terms routinely get mixed up. I get it, they are vague terms and intuitively the name of one does more apartment for the definition of the other. Still, this mix-up happens in an authoritative top-up voted post and now you've got a host of people who think they've learned something new, who actually learned the wrong thing, and the correction may be sufficiently buried or just comes too late to do any good. And the worst consequence, some of those people who learned the wrong thing, will now go on to propagate that mistaken knowledge, not deliberately but because they simply learned it wrong, and put too much stock in the source of the info to fact-check. GIF of cop who accidentally crashes his patrol car at the same time as the guy in the back seat slipped his cuffs and was trying to set it on fire with a lighter. Top reply, actually, this was purposefully intentional, and it was the only thing the officer could have done in this situation, because he didn't know what the guy in the back seat was trying to do. I about quit this fucking site. I fucking hate this pseudo expert shit. You see, I'm actually a professional bullshitter myself. Reddit tends to promote extreme opinions by people with no real experience. It's great for memes and interesting tidbits but an awful place to get advice or perspective on anything important. It's really eye-opening when you see comments about a subject where you have legitimate expertise, and someone saying things that are completely wrong is getting up bodies, and you get downvoted for telling they they're wrong. I got my therapist to check out the relationship sub just to kinda get his take. 
He said that on the whole it appears to be a bunch of teenagers with limited romantic experience, if any, offering the worst marriage advice he's ever seen but doing so with incredible confidence. You mean you don't get your political opinions from screenshots of tweets from Twitter accounts of people who paraphrase someone else's witty statement? We're so utterly fucked as a people because of Twitter, I know that sounds hyperbolic, but we now have insanely large chunks of people who base their politics on who that was a murdered by words screenshot, opposed to the actual facts or reasoning behind the situation. It's reductionist to the extreme.